succeeded so far at not sucking for the entire game, so I'm, I have well, confidence yeah, but you can pull the, it off. I am out of practice, and my fingers oh, yes. fucking hurt. Oh, is this the very over same from the, fingers, uh, the Mortal the Kombat of fingers. the other day? that I use on the thing. No, the, my fingers hurt because I've been learning guitar. Ah. How's that going, by the way? <clears throat> also, follow me. Let's, my let's fingers go. hurt. <laughs> That's how it's going. So, no improvement I in the guitar fucking, so far? Oh, I fucking hate the E minor, A minor transition. It is far harder than it fucking should be. I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. Working on those calluses, are ya? Um, Let us teleport yeah. to the Chamber of Rule. <coughs> Actually, to be fair, um, what I hate, just in general, are mm. chords. Fuck the, the the transition between them. Just fuck chords in general. Chords suck. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Chords are awful. They sound amazing, but they fucking suck. Because they require your hand to be in the most uncomfortable fucking positions to get them. Whee! Like, I guess here, used to it. Hold, hold your index finger down here, your middle finger up here, and then your ring finger um, back here just a little bit, and do it at full arm extension. I, I don't know where here, here what? or here are. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I, I was. That's why I said down, up, and then for, in in behind to give you sort ah. of a a sort of shape of my fingers here at full extension. Oh, and drop your wrist while you're doing this. <laughs> Fun. Oh yeah, it's it's the tra the software I'm using was like, at this point, you might realize that playing the guitar might be uncomfortable. And I'm just like, no shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's Actually, you piece of... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But um, I was going to say, while we're on the topic of <laughs> musical instruments and, and such. Uh, also, I, I see what you did there, and I... And I I agree completely, Snowcat. <laughs> but um, aside from that, on the topic of music, I, wa I had been wanting to tell Snowcat that uh, uh, today a new video came out from from our beloved Shenpai. Yay. She's playing. She's playing High Fire Rush. <coughs> that is going to be absolute chaos, and I can't wait to watch that later. <laughs> she, is, she is chaos. She's a she's such a fun little chaos goblin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've I've tried playing Hi Fi Rush, and after after a little while, I just I just couldn't handle it anymore. I'm I'm too bad at rhythm games. Actually, actually, fun fact: two uh two of her characters, uh Boxer and Vero, are actually Kingdom Hearts OCs that she made back in the day. Oh, okay. Uh, Vero <coughs> is Boxer's nobody. Oh, there you go. I know what that means. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that. Let us talk to our our, our friend with with the face that breaks boulders. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Wrong. <laughs> it looks like it already has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be nice. That's a compliment to him. Yep. He's just that grizzled. Ah, you giddy of Delmar, I'm honored to meet you at last, your grace. <coughs> to mark this auspicious occasion, I should like to present to you the finest treasures our humble nation has to offer. Boop. <coughs> oh, you beat me to it. Big iron butt! Also, I really enjoy Yuri's voice. Yes. Alas, the circumstances which have brought me here today have divested me of both time and dignity. I come before you as a pauper in direst need of aid to request that you grant my people asylum. Love your voice. It's nice but to it see that Japan you. is accepting is accepting British uh, immigrants. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, Nanamo, Your voice is adorable, but it does not fit you. 
welcome you to our city. Her other voice fits her better, Please, actually. Lady Yugiri. Yeah, it'll be it'll Good. be improving soon. I'm just say it's adorable. It's just not terribly fitting. It it doesn't sound the, very sultana, does it? <coughs> it's too stuffy. It's too stuffy for this character. This character does not have a stuffy voice. Although I myself have you know what I mean? Yeah, once we begin the expansion, a lot of voices will will change as we as as we mentioned a while ago. Uh, but just as a reminder, a lot of the voice cast is going to change. Yeah. In maybe. Heaven's word. Ten to fifteen more hours worth of gameplay. Yeah, heaven's word is when. Yeah. As you wish, your grace. The voice cha For voices change. Voices change. My nation, Doma, suffered under the yoke of imperial <coughs> rule, and my people yearned to be free. Thus, when a war of succession <coughs> broke out in Gardenland, we sought to take advantage of the chaos and reclaim our. <coughs> Alas, our enemy proved less preoccupied than we had hoped. And our rebellion was put down in the most brutal fashion. Those who survived, how many do they number? More than 200 souls <coughs> within the cramped confines of our own galleon's hold. Yet this figure accounts for but one of the number of ships which escaped the purge. It is my hope that you will allow us all to dwell within your walls. Should that prove unfeasible, however, I humbly ask that you accept as many of my people as your resources allow. Pray understand, we do not beg a boon, but propose instead an arrangement. We would serve as soldiers or tradesmen until our debt is repaid. What are the Syndicate's opinions on this matter? I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Lady Yugiri and her people strike me as an industrious lot, and there are parts of the city which have yet to be fully restored. If they are willing to work, I see no reason <coughs> to let them. The head of the Mirage Trust is not known for his generosity. He sees profit in this. I agree. That said, these are foreign refugees. To admit them would require a formal resolution. Shall we call a vote? The law is the law. All right, Edge Lord. Lord Lola Rito. Lola Rito is an Edge Lord. <laughs> Are you blind or willfully ignorant? Even now, our streets are choked with the displaced victims of the Calamity and Alamegan refugees. They live hand to mouth, subsisting on aid provided by the immortal flames, the cost of which grows ever higher. I mean, don't we all live hand to mouth? How else is your food going to get in your mouth? The wealth of Ulda is not without limits, my friends. And need I remind you that these refugees are prone to violence and criminal activity? You have all read the reports, I think. Without homes or employment, it is only a matter of time before men grow desperate and take that which they imagine has been unjustly denied them. Yet, knowing this, you would have us <coughs> sell their ranks. Mayhap you think the brass blades and the flames are not hard-pressed enough? Some say the chairman of the East Aldenard Trading Company passes Gil thrice daily. This may explain how he came to be the wealthiest man in Uldar. That sounds or it painful. May simply be that he's ruthless beyond <clears throat> reckoning. Surely the Sultanate can support the few hundred domains Lady Yugiri represents. That our resources have been taxed, I do not deny. But we are hardly in danger of financial collapse. I move that an exception be made. An exception, Your Grace? I am suddenly reminded of a similar debate some years ago, 
regarding a number of Alamegan refugees, if memory serves. What were your words that day? <sighs> ah, yes. The law is the law. And so our visitors remained in little Alamigo. Mayhap our wise and benevolent Sultana would be so good as to enlighten us as to which other of our laws should not be upheld. Mind your tongue, Lolorito. My lord, I share <coughs> your concern for the welfare of our great nation, but we must endeavor to take a longer view. You know as well as I that people can be a resource still more precious than Gil. Precious or not, they were never yet so reliable. And unlike those who frequent your establishment, I have no desire to gamble with my future. Uldar's greatest asset is, and has ever been, her material wealth. We risk this at our peril. One need only look to Telegi Adelegi's example for evidence of the danger in allowing sentiment to dictate policy. How far the vaunted Mirage have fallen, both in repute and profitability, <coughs> since he began employing refugees. How I choose to conduct my affairs is not your concern, my lord. A proposal has been tabled. Given its urgency, I move we forego further debate and call a vote. To accept the Doman refugees or not. Those in favor, I bid you remain. Those opposed, I bid you leave. That it were within my power to welcome you and your people, Lady Yugiri. As you have observed, however, my authority in such matters is regrettably limited. Without the consent of the Syndicate, I cannot act. I understand, Your Grace. And I appreciate all that you have done on our behalf. The nerve of the man! If that Bastard had not forsaken the eastern trade route. Little Alamigo would now be thriving. Oh, that you should have traveled so far under such dire circumstances, only to be refused in this manner is utterly unconscionable. Pray, accept my sincerest apologies. Now that the Empire no longer poses an immediate threat, they see little reason to maintain the pretense of unity. <coughs> the Monitorists have grown especially defiant of late. Lord Lolorito most of all. But this is neither the time nor place for that discussion. Hmm, dies. Huh? I don't want to have any of these things. <coughs> so, uh, as much as a little asshole as he is, I have to say, L Lodorito's voice actor is doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. He Absolutely. is good. Every word drips with scorn. <laughs> yep. Which... It's weird because, uh, from what I've, uh, read of the actual voice actor, he's actually a really chill dude. I he's find that kind of actually an happens asshole. a lot. <laughs> that, that seems to go around a lot. Um, what's her face that plays the, the shithead queen in, uh, in Game of Thrones is actually an absolute sweetie pie in real oh, life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh... I lo uh, also Game of Thrones. Look at uh, 
the absolutely monstrous shit that Jason Momoa had done. Oh yeah, as in character, and you know damn well, especially if you actually look Momoa's into that. Momoa's a chill fucking it, dude. It, it, you look into that, and you look at the, how close those two became, and how he helped her through trauma that it may have caused. Like, mm -hmm. that whole thing was a big fucking deal. When they first met on set, he absolutely tackled her, by the way. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> that was a big deal. So, like, well, like, but he probably injured her doing that, because he is a big dude. <laughs> like, Jason Momoa is a hell of a guy. Yeah, I've, I've heard some other stories about him, too. He's a Agree with that, definitely. By the way, you, you may remember us previously having <coughs> mentioned that while the story of the game up till now ha has been decent, that it, it gets better as it goes. Well, it, yeah. you, you, you've just seen it starting to do that. Yeah, it, the story's it, definitely it, getting deeper. Like, politics is starting to get involved, and it's just like. I, I, I get. <coughs> it's well portrayed, though, isn't it? It, it is because it was portrayed in just the way that it would be done. It would be like, well, you know, we tried, and sorry it came of this. It's just like, and this is supposed to be an acceptable answer. It's like, I did the, 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 the fucking depth that yeah. Squeaks has always been able to get when they get po when they get political, right? When they actually mm. do decide to do that. Um, the depth that they have to just all of the crap that goes on in politic is yeah. incredible. I mean, our rogue group of people have done it too. Remember the the previous discussions about how the scions are how we had to move base because we couldn't be seen as favoring anybody and stuff like that. Same thing with with us, and now we're seeing it happen to other people too. Right. All right. Let's see. Let's talk to him again. Picked up this new quest. Yep. Probably be to the Hall of Flames. Be. Meum. Meum. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Flames. Uh, main Aetherite, and just walk over. Yeah, use the teleporter over here to go to the to the Aetherite Plaza for now. Okay. And then it's just around the corner after that. And where to, sorry? Uh, main aid, right? The, the very top option. So I had to unplug my clock. It was acting up funky. Oh, dear. Weird. What was it doing? Uh, it wasn't clocking. <laughs> it was decidedly non-clocking. Which is not terribly <laughs> good for a clock. I just want to point out over in this direction, a gigantic lion... Oh, he's gone. There was a gigantic lion man named Cutie Tiger. <laughs> oh, no. Found Snow's dad. <laughs> <laughs> but like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. Snow will explain. At a gas station, we found a little plush white tiger with this absolutely derpy expression. And I just said, oh my gosh, uh, like, my dad's Sona is a white tiger. And mm -hmm. I could just see him trying to copy the expression, and Kai responded with trying to copy the expression. So I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> just why? She's got these really wide eyes in this, this 
lip sucking overbite. It's a it's so fucking cute. <coughs> Sure, that why not? That's the on stream, so I can't exactly show you right now. I mean, it may, it's it's adorable when it's a stuffed animal, right? Yeah. Sure. It, 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 if, if it's a people, it, it's it's debilitating and should be repaired if possible. <laughs> yes. That's a name. What? Fast Grimalkin. Oh, I like that. Uh, oh! Oh! I, I get that reference. Oh? I get that reference. I don't. Up. I mean, I've heard the word Grimmel before, but... I don't get it. Uh, it's this cat dude over here. And cutscene. Um, I'm in a cutscene already too. I can't. All good. I can't look. Here we are trying to figure out where else we can bring the refugees. While Alphano is on a phone call. Yep. Kona has need of able-bodied individuals willing to work as frontier hands. Hopefully out of cutscene they will still be there, but if not, I took a screenshot and sent. Okay. Yay! New home for the refugees. Okay, yeah. I see a screenshot. <coughs> I mean, with a name like Bast, they had to have been Makote, uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, Grimalkin. Yeah, I don't know what that part means. <sighs> we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> I'm already too fucking old. <coughs> okay, there we go. Wind up, goblin! <coughs> he, Bass Grimalkin actually looks like uh, the bastard love child of... Uh, Graha and Thancred. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Doesn't he? I... Mm, nope, don't like that. <laughs> you don't Got like that it. because it's true. <laughs> I don't like that. Favorite character was my least favorite character. He's got Thancred's uh, stance and hairstyle, though. <laughs> So, in the same sense that Bast makes sense for a cat, mm -hmm. Grimalkin makes sense for a cat because that's what the word means. <laughs> what is a Grimal, though? A Grimalkin is a cat. So, literally, this person is Cat Cat. We found fucking Moon Moon. Grimalkin <laughs> is used to describe an old cat though. Okay. It also can, it's, it's, but it, at least that's it, 
It, it's weird that a cat person has named himself Bast when he is a him. <laughs> but at least it's cat, so it f fits. Uh, it fits in that way. Cat, cat. Fucking moon, moon. I don't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Bast always felt like a gender neutral name to me, for some reason. I mean, I would agree if it wasn't specifically the name of the goddess of cats. But if it wasn't that name, then it would sound neutral. Like, it doesn't... Aside from the association with a specific existing character, if we ignore that, the name does not jump out as being especially one or the other. <coughs> Hi, Blast. Uh, Blast Bast. God damn it, cat cat. <laughs> Eh. But I, I like how he's. An, you say that Grimmel specifically tends to mean older cat, and he does have white hair, so that's a nice attention to detail there. He's like the grumpy old man cat, Dark Knight. <laughs> I mean, not white. It's more like light blonde. Eh. With <coughs> black or gray tips. What kind of crackhead terminology is that? That. <coughs> also, he has a pet bird, so that bird needs to be careful. You're hanging around with a cat. That's dangerous. <coughs> Fuck. Oh, <dear>. Sorry. <coughs> all right. Are we all ready? I'm Batman. Yeah. I just. I'll take that as a yes. That, I just noticed he has a very. <laughs> It, it's like it's hairstyle in the front, but it's like I've never seen that on a male Makote before. That's the thing. Hmm. Well, there you go. Okay. Okay, to the bar. B b road Sparrow, that is not how that works. <laughs> road Sparrow on the side of the road. If, it, road it, it, on the side. It, it, if Road's. <laughs> It, it, if Road Sparrow, Sparrow Broken, supposed to be Sky Sparrow. <laughs> this this reminds me of something that n must be quoted at this point. Uh, how about Cargo Space? No. Car not go space. Cargo Road. Cargo beep beep. And <laughs> cargo beep beep. It, it, exactly. This is kind of my thought here. It's like the... You, no. no, no. Sparrow, Sparrow not go no road. road. <laughs> Sparrow go sky. <laughs> This way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it might be a little bit high. No. Just a little bit. Noom. Noom. <laughs> I always love that. Car not go space, car go road. Noom. <laughs> no car. No car go Noom. space, car go road. <laughs> Also that. God, here's the thing. If I ever go in to buy a fucking car and somebody says that to me I, when I say cargo space, I'm buying that fucking car. <laughs> yes. I will pay cash for that fucking car. The person who actually does that. Agreed. That deserves to be rewarded. If I cannot pay for that car, I will at least give you a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> also fair. No. <laughs> also, this this conversation proves why Mistress Mamodi is awesome. Because the fact that she she's just tall enough to uh kick you in the kneecaps. That's not why she's awesome. That's why you shouldn't piss her off. I don't think she could kick you in the kneecaps. I think she'd just bite you in them. She'd take your kneecaps by biting them. I don't, don't like that. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pi R square? No. Pi R round. Cake R square. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
This is why math's fucked up. Everyone knows pies are round. But you know what's really fucked up? What's up? You want to know something that's just... This is unreal. You know how simple a curve is, right? Sure. Right, uh, like... It, it, the, the concept of something not being a straight line is not hard. It is also mathematically impossible. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking joking. This is why you can't trust math. Do you know how curves are represented mathematically? As infinitely small straight lines. <coughs> yeah, fair enough. So bad. It's so bad. This is why you can't trust math. When government fails to act, or responsibility falls to us private citizens. That's a hit a little <laughs> little home there, isn't that, it? Uh, that sounds like you're talking my language, friend. <laughs> that sounds like revolution. I like that. Dogans prepare for departure at Vesper Bay, where from they will be transported by carriage to Ulda. From there to some airships, I guess. Because they're not staying here. So now that we have, now that we need to leave town, we can pursue the other thing for a little bit. Well, but I figured we might as well get those the, conversations out of the way while we were here. Yeah, pick up the quest. But we're gonna leave the main quest aside for a little bit now. You know, uh, fantasy games like this <clears throat> actually a really good example of how much power private citizens have in the face of government. And a lot of that comes down to the fact that, well, the government may refuse to allow them to have that space. The people... You know, that space belongs to the people, so the people can completely override that by their own mm -hmm. choices. And the only reason the government couldn't stop them from doing this is because you're in a culture full of adventurers. You have an armed population. Good fucking luck. <laughs> also, not to side... True. But, and not to sidetrack your point, but I do feel the need to point out that somebody named Samantha Chocolate just ran by. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I'm trying not to feel that I'm trying not to feel yeah. that way because I have mixed feelings about the name Samantha. My cousin's name is Samantha. It's a really pretty name, but it's also my cousin's name and I have a, it, I have sort of associated uh, those things. You do, don't want to uh <laughs> intensify the banjos too much. <laughs> my cousin is an absolutely brilliant woman. And so if it, 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 mm -hmm. if not related we could have been very uh, compatible because of that, but no, she is my cousin. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know the feeling. This, this is why I, I, I can't ever possibly flirt with anybody named Eva, because that was my mother's name. It would be too weird. <laughs> you don't see me dating anybody named Deb. 
<laughs> Nor will you. Or or Andy, for that matter. All right. Do we all have the quest in Yugiri's game? Yes. Yes. Or I should, <coughs> should say Yugiri. All right. Yugiri. Let us walk outside to the crystal. Actually, we don't even need the crystal. Let us just walk uh, outside in general. Because the exit to town is right across the road. See, I always get mixed responses with how I how I approached uh, that with my cousin. It's like there is not a thing about my cousin other than the fact that she's my cousin that she that isn't attractive about her. Of course, I'm going to hype her up. That's my cousin. She's amazing. And hello, unlucky desperado. So I stepped into the middle of that convo. <laughs> That's the thing, it's like it's I guess such Great mixed results with it. Some people dig it, some people don't understand it. <clears throat> so hello Midgard Sormer, how are you doing? <laughs> this way. The previous are one? I don't even remember what the previous one was anymore. Governmental stuff? Pol the politics oh, and revolution? Yeah. That was the thing that immediately predated that one. I think it was. Alright, so I, I couldn't remember if we all had the, the... Actually, I guess we do all have the Camp Blue Fog teleport, but fuck it, it's just right over here anyway. And we haven't flown around the world a whole lot yet, so... It's nice to see the view from up here. Whee! I was just commenting that the only reason that statements yes, slow, like what was was made in uh, this is not a moose, is a caribou. Same Jesus, thing. no, caribou and reindeer it's, are the same thing. A, moose and caribou are not the same thing. It's a Christmas moose. No, <laughs> no. it's a fucking reindeer. <laughs> it, no, one might even say a Chris moose. My brother in Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I am most definitely not that, and neither are you. Shush your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's funny. Yes. Uh. All right. Looking for a hired blade, you'll have to look elsewhere. Wait, what? Am I missing something here? My employer, a lot of felon lad, wished to pay a visit to ped a peddler uh -oh. who deals with some matter. You don't have this quest? I apparently missed part of it. Oh shit, what was the. Uh, now we're gonna have to remember what the last step of this was. Oh, probably. the goldsmith. Okay, I think we need to go back to the goldsmith's guild then. I th think. How did I miss this? That was the last... I, I don't know. I don't mind uh, running back. Yeah, that's fine. Also, Kling Long over here. Just saying. I... Kling Long Smash. Kling Long Smash! I mean, Kren's Canadian. I'm spiritual. <laughs> 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 They're a level 90 sage. Yep. Alright, back to Ulda, everybody. Though so I will say, there's only so many things that one can believe outside of their own sight that really, you know, allows me to exist. So, short list, short list. Some of the blanks have been manually filled in because you have to. Do you? Well, if the blanks exist, <laughs> then they have. To, if if there are in fact blanks and you're not manufacturing them, manufacturing blanks is different. But if you're talking about actually filling in historical blanks, 
<clears throat> or belief, you absolutely have to. Because you have to be able to find out where where you exist with Earth. how you want to believe. Emotionally. That's a difficult statement to unwrap. I hate the concept of blind ignorance. If you're doing something, you should have a reason to. So, it, like, you know what else is? You know what else is blind ignorance? And I'm not saying this is what anybody here is doing, but what else is blind ignorance? Is pretending you know the answers when you've just made shit up out of nowhere and then acting like that's the truth. But let's teleport to the Goldsmiths Guild. Yeah, but like, as an example, if I were to choose to follow a belief that had part of a holy text that said I should do something, but doesn't tell me, or the part of it that told me why I should do this was destroyed. Okay, quick then question. Then I have to be, it, uh, then myself, mm -hmm. I have to be like, okay, so am I going to do this without knowing why? Am I going to come up with a reason why am I, I'm doing this, or am I just going to be like, this is not worth my fucking time? I know which one I am. But in any case, with the exception of the receptionist here, are there any other quest icons in this room right now? Yes, there's Biggs. <laughs> uh, there we go. Talk to Biggs. That's the question we're missing. Yep. And then he will send you to the other spot. Uh, Which is Sloan, the, now? The, the the fairy is my character's summoned pet. She helps me heal people. Okay, you got Biggs' quest? Does it say something about yeah. Camp Blue Fog? Yes. Okay, now that I know now that I'm pretty sure we all have that teleport, I'm just gonna teleport us back. <clears throat> yep. As far as reality, yes. <laughs> I at least I've been told I'm Fey adjacent. Oh yeah, the toy ship is also mine, Sloan. It doesn't do anything though. It's just a, a toy airship that follows me around because airships are cool. So are fezes, I'm told. And you were told correctly. Fezes are very cool. All right, you should have this quest now to talk to this person. Yes. There we go. See, I had to ask the question the way I did back at the Goldsmiths Guild as well, because since I had already talked to the next person, Biggs was no longer they there on my loofed. screen. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Adventure! And beyond! Whee! We're, ta we're taking the scenic route because yep. we feel like it. Because fuck you, I'm on a joke about yeah. Yeah, Sloan, the um <laughs> The airship is, is basically just like a non combat pet for just for fun that anybody can have. Uh the fairy is specifically a spell that my class I'm playing learns. So uh Alright, we gotta go into this building over this here. Building right here. Time to kill some lunatics. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of lunatics. <laughs> you pulled everybody. <laughs> Yee! So I land on the ground and I, I, I aggro one person. You land on the ground and there's six more. <laughs> <laughs> I am chaos. You are. It was definitely Snow's fault. <laughs> yep. There we go. Found him. Wedge, get out of the corner. My You're book has to get out tablets of it. attached to it. It basically does. <laughs> it unfolds a little He's... bit. He got wedged in the corner. So that's why they call him that. I'm trying to remember exactly 
we, like when that name actually came about and why. Because they are recurring character names. They've been in the series since most of the series. I don't remember exactly which game did it first, though. I don't think 7 was the first one. But, but I don't know how many games before <laughs> them did. Friend. What's up? I just realized that my current desk setup reminds me very much of your little magical book. Oh? I've got my main... On it? I've got my main 4K monitor sitting directly in front of me. I have a Chromebook to my left, which I'm watching your chat with. And to my right, I have an Android tablet that is suction cup to the side of my tower that allows me to do shit like this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also glad that you do. Oh, dear. Fucking weird on every level. Yes, you are. I think that I think that needs to be followed up with our uh, our favorite sound effect from the, the game Scorn. Uh, what? The uh, the the gross uh, meat sounds one. What the? You mean the fucking pufferfish? The... <laughs> That's the one. That's a blowfish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Red. That that pufferfish sound got used quite a lot during Scorn, as I remember. Yes, it did. It was amazing. <laughs> and this one just that, works out that, like this. It's wizard time, motherfucker! Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> Scorn was basically blowfish gross sound the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my book until you die. Alright, we must find the Earth Cradled Ether Sand. You're looking for a reason as to why I am all kitted out like that. Uh, just. Have you checked your bundles? Get up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Murder us every day. How many Dylan Hollis quotes do you have on there? I know you've got at least one. Uh. Fire your oven. I'm sorry, but we have to let you go. <laughs> okay, you I need at least three. Beans in you. Four. We quarter the cherries in half. Five. It's a severe, unauthorized cup of mayonnaise. So, yep, yeah, that's one of the ones I counted before you started. Now we have carbonated mayonnaise lime water. Six. Are you a sorcerer? Seven. I've never made a deep cream before. <laughs> Eight. Good morning. Nine. Good night. Ten. So I have ten Dylan buttons. <laughs> Nilla. You need a Nilla button. <laughs> I, I, I've looked for a good Eggie. Nilla. Eggy. <coughs> Eggy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh, Sloan, you, you know. Squirted it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody I hang out with is gonna be a, a, a weirdo like me. Well, I don't sometimes the world is a scary place. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I, I don't, I don't have truck with the normies. <laughs> Ah, they're already respawning. Ah. <sighs> would you like a bigger penis? Where would you like it? I can suggest the places. <laughs> I'd blast action get in here. 
I'm sorry, but what? I tried being around normies and immediately stopped hanging around Numskull. I mean, he's normie adjacent, yeah. Every well-bred petty crook knows that the small concealable weapons always go to the far left of the place setting. <laughs> I like her. Woman after my own heart. Sophist sophisticated and graceful shenanigans. <laughs> Sophisticated, graceful, and deadly, just like me. Well, deadly, maybe. I'm not exactly graceful or sophisticated. <laughs> but you I'm can enjoy these deadly. things. I am incredibly peaceful. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here while we can. And flee directly into a fate. <laughs> so much safety. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has, has arrived. sucked onto me. Okay, uh, where? Huh? Right here. Hey. All right. Time to go back to more. Sixty ninth and four twenty, please. Giggity. Woo. The thing is, Mordona is just the next zone over. We might as well just fly over. <laughs> it's almost as if I had that whole thing planned, but there's no way. I've never worked for Squeaks. What? <laughs> God, can you imagine if I had? That'd be fucking dope. Could be an interesting place to work. Certainly. Can tell that I haven't worked for them, though. I feel like if I was going to work for a game developer, I would probably want to work at Double Fine. They've got some glorious I mean, weirdos working there. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Schafer seems like a really fucking cool boss to have. There will always be a signature if I ever do anything to help anybody with a game or whatever. There will always be a signature that will let you know that I was there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be such a quintessentially me thing. You you won't be able to miss it. I have a feeling it's one of those things like right now I can't guess it, but when I, the instant I see it, I'll be like, oh, that's that's what it was. <laughs> there it is. See, hear, <laughs> experience something. I'm getting back mm -hmm. into the me that I was before, and I'm kind of loving it. Oh, that That is good to hear. It's, <laughs> it's not the pufferfish nose noise Sloan. While that is fun, that is not quintessentially Kai. In and of itself. It's just I mean, I've like. made similar noises with certain parts of my body, but that's beside the point. <laughs> okay, that's, that statement is quintessentially Kai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Rambro. Abex's a bitch washing machine. <laughs> Washing machinees. Oh yeah, I have that version too. Abex a bitch. Wash washing machinee. <laughs> <laughs> I put that version in there just for you, Kren. That's glorious. <laughs> I was high and I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> and you were correct. I can kill you with my brain. <laughs> and she did, as I recall, in that scene. Or at least in that episode, anyway. Talking about shows with good acting. Right, so as a reminder, we're collecting ether sand so that we can break into the Crystal Tower. For reasons. Mm hmm Because some strange, strange weirdo with, with a weird mask told us to. Did.
Are the reasons money? Uh, surprisingly, no. At least it's not for us. They may have been for him, the person who asked us to do it. Materia. Okay. New quest. Okay, got two things left in Kadanya. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> okay. Uh... Speak to French name in Gridania. I mean, I knew you got a little bit elevated today, but... Eh. Alright. Are we are finished talking to him? Are we ready for a teleport? Not quite. Okay. Say one. No fantasy heist. I don't know. I mean, just breaking into an ancient tower full of weird magical monstrosities count as a heist? Because if so, then yes. Fascinating. <laughs> it is indeed. This actually unlocks the game's first raid, or second raid, depending on how you look at it. I guess it's technically second. But the only raid the game makes you do... The rest are optional. The rest are optional, but the rest <coughs> we're just unlocking have it today. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're just unlocking the the raid today. We're not going to actually enter the raid today because we're all rusty at the moment. <laughs> um. Oh fuck! I was gonna say something. Train of thought completely just derailed. <laughs> yeah, shit. Well, are we good for the teleport? I think so. He doesn't have a thing to talk person? to him about anymore. And All I don't right, see anybody else to yap at. You have a performance for the ages? Yes. Okay. To Gridania. I need to stop reading that is Nazi juicy. It's not what that <laughs> means. <laughs> <laughs> no. Poor little guy. <laughs> you need to stop doing that, eyeballs. That's not fair. That is very not fair. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh dear. dear. Wendy Nines. That's a I'm, name. I'm 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 honestly not a terrible person, believe me. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. And my bullshit meter agrees. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> when when Kai's computer starts arguing with her. Okay. Okay, uh, so to get to this dude. Oh, that's over there. Very easily, literally. Just follow walk this me. way. Eat, follow me. To the northeast. Yeah, that's right. I'm a gay robot. <laughs> Running off and leaving friend. <laughs> you missed yelling that, didn't you? Whee! <laughs> the Makote girls have such a silly, enthusiastically happy little jump animation. If you, have you seen the Lollafells? They, they should not be able to jump that high. That's true. Then again, they have... They have to take twice as many steps to get anywhere as anybody else, so they, they've got stronger legs than everybody. True. And they're smaller. Yeah. So they weigh less. They That's true. What's up, Parson Mantra? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to come up with some sort of par par parsimon-related joke, and I'm not succeeding. Parsimon Monty, I don't know. <laughs> you get into that deep southern drawl. Parsimon Tret. Parsimon Tret. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. You, you, you have to Out there. lengthen the E. Tret. 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 Parsimon Tret Syndrome. 
<laughs> dude, your, dude, your name is Steve. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that was entirely too good. <laughs> I, 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 I like par, uh, Parse Mantra. <coughs> Sup, Parse Mantra? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? Yeah. <coughs> Alright, this will be Quarry Mill. Off we go to save the day. Off we go to you. save the day. Or but find Don't some do sand. Me favors, bitch. <laughs> Fine, I won't. <laughs> I have the sassiest fucking responses to shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Personally, uh, I'm, I'm, I still remember the day that I had deja vu about having deja vu about something. Oh, well, that's fucking weird when that happens. That is fucking un. Yeah, it was like I was like I was like whoa, whoa. <laughs> I felt deja vu about this exact thing before. So I I, I won't ruin your stream for you, Kren, but there was oh, a point shit. in time yesterday when I, when uh, I was in the voice chat with everyone and I challenged myself because you know how i how i'll do different uh character voices and try to make them unreasonably sexy <laughs> sure i challenged oh. myself to make salad fingers sexy and succeeded oh oh god oh god <laughs> succeeded <laughs> yes Murder. i succeeded Apparently rusty, apparently, rusty spoons are now a thing that uh, some people got some achievement unlocks for. Oh dear. To others. This happened to other people. This was not a thing that happened to me. This was me. I did this voice and just heard immediately in a, a voice chat full of different people going, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that person Dan? By any chance? Uh, Dan was one of them, yes. Hey, Artemis. Hey, yo! And Sloane, as far as that's when you put the pipe down and just touch some grass, would you believe I was completely sober at the time? Stop squinting at the foliage and listen. Who could this I, be? I, <laughs> I, I, I touch grass. I smoke. Grass. I roll in the grass. I mean, it's difficult to, to smoke the grass without touching it first. It can be done, though. I've always found it strange how we... The popularity of the term touch grass that's going around recently. Why did it go outside turn into a very much more specific touch grass? It's, because it's a little weird. It, it is... And there was an argument. There was an argument that was also just as weird that pointed out the uh, the potential of it actually being slightly racist to say "touch grass" rather than "go outside." How? Because any but anybody can go outside, but not everybody can touch grass because not everybody has it. Erf. And it's just I mean, like God. I hate. I hate this fucking argument. But it, uh, it's, it's more it's logical true? than some of the other shit. It's it's true that not everybody can do that because they don't live in a place that has grass, but that is not racism. That's geographyism. <laughs> well, right, but only specific races live in certain geographies, don't you know? Apparently. Yeah, that's not. I would have to say the only works, racism but... involved in this is is the person who said it. <laughs> <coughs> right, right, like that's. Hold on. One second. That, that was my check. argument. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to teleport. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I think we can't teleport right now because we were technically in being aggro in combat. Let's fly away from this wild hog. Break the combat. Well, you're but... getting aggroed. We're not. Yes. Well, but honestly, same um, thing. Well, really? I mean, the you whole have team your can't own teleport if gauge. I. Sure, but the whole team cannot teleport if I cannot teleport. Because I am part You're of the team. Not wrong. And also, yes, hello, Artemis. No, John. <laughs> 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 Do 
That's an assertion. Where'd you go? It is. There you are. Yep. Also, check out this cool mechanical horse over here. I've not seen this before. It's Ixion. It's a Zoid. What the fuck? Yeah, basically. Oh, you mean this one? Wow, it just um, showed off. A, a, no, a, a I don't mean that one. There's a different oh, one. Oh, I know what this, what that one is. You Yours is cool that. too, though. You get, you get that one from PvP. Oh. <laughs> I am. Like I said, team. it's liter, it's literally Ixion as a Zoid. I love it. You can actually yeah. get Ixion as a, as a mount, actually. There was okay, that's definitely that is a... cute. Miel honeysuckle. That's yes. a cute ass name, considering that miel is the French word for honey. <laughs> Spelled slightly differently, but still funny. Honey honeysuckle. Basically. So I guess Fucking that means moon she moon. suckles herself. <laughs> she must be flexible. I mean, I can lick my own tit. Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Why are we here? I forget. Uh, for you to mount up and do a quest. Right. That makes sense. All right. And yeah, as Sloane says, uh, Mostly as a way to put technology down and just enjoy the world. That's that's what touch grass means, yeah. Well, yeah. But again, no why not to say go outside? Grass. Yeah, there's no you either. So I guess if I'm not on the team and you're not on the team, nobody's on the goddamn team. The team sucks. <laughs> it would be a suboptimal team. All right, you're already up there, so I'm the one lagging behind this time. I'm surprised you didn't yell leaving behind this time when it's the first time you've actually done it. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, you could touch grass and still be on the phone, too. Yeah? <laughs> it's, it's, so, so basically, we found like three different ways in which this is a terrible phrase that people shouldn't be using, <laughs> is what we're saying here. Other than it sounds amazing, honestly. I, I feel much sassier when I tell somebody to touch grass rather than to go outside. What about touch but ass? I'm, I'm also a fucking piece of shit that would, you know, use that aggressively, so. Hm. Put down the phone and touch some ass. Uh, no, I don't want to promise some of these people something that will never happen. <laughs> Wind touched. Oh, somebody got touched. Does that mean somebody farted on it? It means Garuda sat on it. Oh no. <laughs> That's a lot of different kinks converging at the same time. I know, right? The wind touched abrasive is yours. We have a very sassy mystery spy having fun with us right now. So quiet up here, you can hear a mouse get a heart on. Spry. No, I have a feeling that. Uh, oh, I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a new one. I, no. I, I mean, haven't heard that one. We gotta deal with fate. Oh shit, there's a fate well, boss in here. we don't have there. to, but... We do have to, eh. he's gonna aggro us. Mm. Nope. Let's take care of the other little bastards first. Hell can't I cast a spell on him? Yeah. Guess we're out leveling him a bit. Yeah. 
Oh, Artemis, I feel that mood. Feel that mood very much. Get the hell out of our out of way from our quest. Down, you dumb jerk. Woo. Cool swords that these guys up. have, though. I like the sword design. You can still see it on those guys over there, even though the big guy disappeared. E. E. Water blessed, Ether Sand. I took the liberty of refining I'm the sure. ore into Ether Sand. Do keep it safe. I'm sure there's some ass that you could find, find to touch. Betwixt the between. Working on it. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know where my head is. I am still slightly elevated. <laughs> Only slightly. Only slightly. Seagulls! Mm, stop it now! <laughs> uh, Alright then. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Uh, music video about seagulls, Yoda and seagulls. <laughs> oh, okay, that explains the mmm in the middle of it. <laughs> seagulls, mmm. Fucking weird on every level. Yes. Cheese. Eh. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. Now we get to go to Mordona? Yep. Ah! If you don't aggro everything first. It's a respawn. It, yes, yeah, it's my fault that the enemy re that we're standing next to you respawned. Yes. How dare I? Well, <laughs> Who's that? Who's out? Who, who, whose fault is it supposed to be? Nobody's. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> Come on, we live in a society. We we certainly do. Uh, are we all ready to go back to yep. uh, Saint Coinax find? Yep. Teleport to. Whoever the fuck Let's you go, Adrian. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. <coughs> The gun is good. The gun is good. The, gun. the penis is evil. I mean, you had me up until then. <laughs> Listen, I might I not mean... be an actual lesbian, but I, but I, but I, I'm still a strict vegetarian like you, so. I think the concept of the also, speech actually made some really fair points. Check out the uh, mecha chocobo Magi over here. Yeah, the fucking, you know, Magitek armor on this chocobo. What the fuck? It's pretty oh, yeah. fucking cool, eh? I know where you get that. Does it come in anything other than 1980s Tron? Uh, no. Because if it does, I'm not interested. Well, I mean, I would be. Because 2000s Tron had way more options as far as colors. Yeah, but I like the the uh, traditional Tron better. But I'm Bitch, an 80s I like kid, pink. so... I mean, okay, fair. I mean, you could design 80s style Tron, but with pink. Yeah, that's what 2000s Tron was. 80s style Tron, but with pink. <laughs> well, there were more differences than that, though. They didn't really have that many differences, though. Like, it was updated to the, to modern kit, but it wasn't really that I different. I hated the new discs. Did not like them. Really? I well, liked I did, them I did, because they, they I didn't looked like them just less being a like thin frisbees. ring. I mean, yeah, the first ones were just basically frisbees, but... They were literally frisbees. Yeah, but the new ones were just like a hula, a small version of a hula hoop, 
pretty much. Like they were, they were mostly a hole in the middle. Uh, they were also a form of frisbee, but a much cooler form, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, but I'm old and I like old things more. <laughs> I guess. That's not true, but in this particular case, it is. I could see how they could have touched on the retro side of it a little bit better, made it look a little bit more original. But I think if they had kept the I, like mention the new design, but without the hole in the middle, like it, it's it's one solid disc like the old ones were, but with the design of the new one. Otherwise, I think that'd be cool. Sort of an in between hybrid concept. I think that the fear that they had is that it was just going to look like a, a frisbee. It's supposed to. <laughs> it's not. It wasn't supposed to look like a frisbee. <laughs> I mean, it sure as <laughs> fuck did in, the, did in the original. <laughs> that's because that's what it was. It wasn't uh -huh. that it was supposed to look like it. It's that it's literally what it was because Tron was produced for all of like three dollars in a Tootsie Roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. Ooh, shiny. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love the original Tron movie, but it only looked like a Frisbee because it was, not because it was supposed to. Yeah. You know, it's ironic that Allegan's technology makes Garlemald's Magitech look ancient because it is the Allegan technology that is actually the one that is ancient. But it is more advanced. <sighs> Freedom through technology. <laughs> Me and Kai both are slightly ahead of you. Um... And then there's this fucker. <laughs> oh, is he showing up? Yes. Oh, and there and there's Kitty Cat. And now we, have reached the, uh, <laughs> now we have reached the, the, the purpose of my stream title. Here's our heterochromatic cat boy. Rahatia. He's got a familiar looking tattoo on his neck, doesn't he? Mm hmm. You remember that tattoo at all, guy? <coughs> Vaguely? Mm hmm. I don't think the game has told us what it means yet at this point. But we do know some other people who have it. Nominated observers of artifacts historical. Which, you sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He really is. So yes, qu quite a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen fans. Very into Graha. My character's... Nose comes up to his shoulder. 
That's minimum mm -hmm. height. I think he's like minimum. Maybe minimum not quite height. minimum height for males, but or almost. He's yeah. short. My 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 main is taller than him. Uh, hi, bye, random NPC. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fate over there. That was one of them running to it. <laughs> <New. laughs> Alright. I need some socks. Actually, I'm just noticing the time. It is time for us to have a little break before we yep. go off and do that. So why don't we do that? Yep. Picking Everybody have a PP. Up. Get a new drink. Yep. Whatever you need to do. This is, should be a safe spot Pee. for us to idle. So. Yep. Should be. Should be. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Snow, have you seen my new break screen? No, I have not. Here you go. I did. Looked awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! And now my starting soon break and end screen all match because they're all made by the same uh, animator. No. Fate ended. Fate ended. <laughs> Bye, <was> NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just run past again? Yeah, they're running past this again the other direction. Oh, I am overcome! Ah, ah, I'm falling! Yeah, there I go! I'm on the floor! No oh, mercy! <laughs> on that note, be right back. Yes. No oh, mercy.
Blarp.
I'm back. Hero. Came across a couple interesting things while browsing Twitter in the meantime. Somebody made oh. a, an animation of a uh, a mimic with a shield in one hand and throwing knives with the other hand, but the knives it's throwing, it's it's pulling out of its own treasure chest body. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll copy this. Into Twitch chat. Also, interesting bit of news. Satisfactory is updating to Unreal Engine 5. Ooh. And I've seen some amazing shit that Unreal Engine 5 can do, so I'm excited. That is a super cool animation. I dig it. it. Also, welcome back, Artemis. Well, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of my tweets that I sent out did not get the attention that I was thinking it would. Oh. <laughs> The, uh, I was told a, uh, a joke about furries. Furries are like Tupperware, bottoms everywhere and only a few tops. <laughs> and, uh, my exact reaction to this was, God, it sounds like the fun side of GunCAD. It's like, this is not an insult. I, too, am, am a GunCAD bottom. <laughs> <laughs> And I expected this to get some more attention than it did. I was uh, kind of surprised. Maybe it's because people didn't know what GunCat is. It, it's not hard to find out. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing it's CAD for guns, but... The primary working force of the 3D printed, uh, 3D printed gun community. It's all GunCat. Or accessories, as is my general thing. I make accessories for the sub-2000 and it. other such things. My favorite accessories are, are accessories. I'm going to be uh, working to design a, uh, a chainsaw grip for the Caltech sub-2000. I look forward, forward to seeing the Magitek 9. <laughs> In Nya. Oh. Yeah. Considering how hard it is that is it is to get an actual Tech Nine, that will have to be a prop. Sure, but I still want to see it. Ow, 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 ow. Are you okay? Apparently not. I'm going to go over and check on her. could not have happened at a worse time. Did a stretch go really wrong on you or something? I was taking a bite of food and my esophagus decided to cramp. Oh. God damn. It's a most uncomfortable sensation as you swallow. Just suddenly this tightens the fuck up. That sounds awful.
Fuck the entirety of that, in fact. Alright, well, it's time to test this thing we, we made. To see if it's going to save us from being annihilated or not. I'm going to stick my entire fist into this magical field to test it. <laughs> I mean, you could have tested this without putting the fleshy bit of your hand into it, Sid. He's going to lick the science. He did. <laughs> Please do not put your tongue on that. Good, I could risk my hand next. Thank you. Yep. Suggest we wait here while the adventurer and a handpicked party of his adventuring companions enter the tower. Mm -hmm. In other words, here comes the uh, the raid. Here comes the raid, dude. <laughs> here comes the raid, and I say it's all right. Yes, totally hand, a hand-picked group of adventurers. Totally handpicked by the ha totally handpicked by the dungeon finder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when uh when, Dad Floyd, when Dan Floyd played through this part of the game, it was some of my handpicked because it, he assembled a party of people all from the same, all from the same guild. <laughs> That's great if you have a guild. Yeah. Especially one that's uh, big and available when he needs them. Fashion leader standing here in your underwear and pink bunny hair. <laughs> Turbo Quando. Well, who the fuck is this gold chicken ass motherfucker? Coupo. Soybean. A lollafell named Soybean. <laughs> That's cute. I'm gonna kick your ass, Coupo. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is a little cutie pie, though. Kicked him right in the coupo. <laughs> <laughs> this gold chicken ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing I said today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time to remind people that in my Discord server, I do have a channel specifically for weird shit that we... Uh, to say... To quote weird shit we said during a stream. 
such as <coughs> this such gold as. chicken ass motherfucker. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. So we are going to actually leave the raid for a while. And we'll do as much of the main story as we can before we have to do the raid. Just so we can gear up a little more and not have to worry about that. It's not actually that hard, but we're not we're in no condition for such a thing today. <laughs> Are you trying to imply that I am inebriated? No, I'm trying to imply that ne none of us have played these characters for almost a month. <laughs> or perhaps That is also a month. fair. <laughs> oh, so many people. Both of both of these things are true. So many people. I mean, I got to get used to my hot bar again. I'm sure you don't remember your abilities very well right now. Regardless of inebriation or not. Why does this person not have clothes? Because they're level 90 degree, uh, Dragoon that only has their helmet on. That's hidden. How many naked people are over there? Because the naked person I saw didn't have a helmet on. They, they have their helmet hidden. Oh. Uh. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Leaving Snowcat behind. <laughs> no! <laughs> More like leaving me behind. Ah! What are you talking about? You're right in front of me. My, uh... You will disappear when the cutscene finishes, though, probably. My, my choking kind of, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> put me behind you a bit. Yes, it would. That makes sense. Why is that stuck in my head? <laughs> wow, this is indeed a gold chicken ass motherfucker. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you know what, Snowcat? I actually have a, a cover of that song on my on my work playlist, but it's like a sad metal version of it. I'm on my way. Why is Pink Bunny Boy wearing nothing but a speedo and boots? What? Because he's because he's a bunny boy. Pink Bunny Boy is wearing a speedo and boots and a collar. Yeah. Okay. After everything else you said, I don't see why the <laughs> collar is surprising. The uh... nothing about it is nothing about this is surprising. I'm just pointing out that it is in fact a thing. Fair. Dude, what I dig it. It's super gay. <laughs> it is. It is very, very gay indeed. Good for him. Live your best speedo life, sir. Uh, you guys, be cool. Pick you, buddy. Ah, I'm being picked. It Okay then. No. <laughs> Can I? I can't. There's just something about a computer voice announcing nut. <laughs> Either that or uh, Stephen Hawking. Poke this, I take it. What? I don't know. What's this? Yeah. The thing that I was suddenly dropped off in front of with no yeah. instruction. <clears throat> Maybe, hold on. What is it though? Like, what does your quest say to do right now? Words. Whoa! Choco bomb there. 
Jesus, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Just... Okay. Now we get to go. Are you talking about a giant. Was it a giant shiny thing? Yes. That is the entrance to the Two? dungeon itself. We do not want to po poke it yet. Oh, back to it. We are now uh. leaving and going to Vesper Bay. In fact, we don't even need to be mounted because that means that we are prey returning. So use your prey return ticket. Hi, V. Not that we're going into the Waking Sands, but we're going to that town. I'm waiting on you. See, well, you waiting on me means I have to manually dismount, which is particularly unfun because Actually, I can never I'm remember how to. If... I can't use it from my inventory if I'm mounted up. Hold on. If, oh. you, if neither of you guys have teleported yet, I would <coughs> like you to run an experiment. Both of you stay mounted. Oh. Both of you stay mounted, and Snow, you use your Etherite ticket. I want to see what happens. What happens if you t use your Etherite ticket while you're on a two person mount together? I get left behind. Okay. okay. That's what I thought might happen, but it was worth trying. All right, use your ticket too then. At least you don't have to mount manually that now. <laughs> that was very weird. All right, we're going back to the Yugari storyline. Noom. Doman refugees. <laughs> and once again, the game makes fun of the MMO trope of making the Highly experienced and decorated player character do meaningless tasks. <laughs> Why are you asking the champion of the realm to deliver your mail? <coughs> <laughs> or in this case, find some children. Okay, we have to find three... Well, first we gotta talk to Yozan, and then we're gonna have to find three children. We're playing hide-and-seek. Put this... Also, how nope. sad is it that a society has to teach their children hide-and-seek as a method of, of uh, saving their lives? I hear we're traveling by horse bird drawn <coughs> carriage. Don't you think they're queer, I mean, giant they're... birds that people ride like horses? <laughs> Realistically, that's probably how hide-and-seek came to be anyway. Probably. Quite possibly. Ashful Geyser. Hey, uh, sir, do you have a uh, OnlyFans by any chance? The fuck, kid. I love how the Domans like making fun of horse birds. <coughs> Squeaks really does make, make fun of themselves quite a lot in this game. <laughs> or all the references about uh, how the protagonist doesn't like to talk and just stoically nods to people all the time. Papino spaghetti. Ta da! That's a good name. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. Oh, darn. 
All right, did y'all get all your kids? No, we just <coughs> ran around and did nothing that entire time. Cool. <laughs> It's so fitting that, that Yuguri is the one teaching them to, to do hide-and-seek, though. Mm-hmm. It's a very ninja thing to do. Emotional damage! Um. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if it wasn't blatantly obvious that Yuguri's a ninja, that is. <laughs> No, clearly with that get up, she's a white mage. Right? He's flamboyant! <laughs> He's a dancing man. He likes to do a jig is all. Meow. We need to go back and check on him. We haven't looked at his channel in a little while. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> we will do that Probably next based stuff as per the usual. He can't help it. It's who he is. <clears throat> All right. Just scout ahead and make sure they do not get ambushed by things and stuff. You. Yep. Running up and leaving prayer. Magic flying Canadian moose. <laughs> it's not a moose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Chris moose. No! <laughs> <laughs> Stop pushing somebody else's religion off on the meese. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that you use the same plural for them as I do. Well, it's, it's clearly that's what it would be. Which would be clearly is. Right. Anybody who says it differently is wrong. Although I will also accept mooses. I suppose. But only if you're from uh, Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah, we get them a lot of slack already. They can't help it. One of the prettiest yeah. Canadian accents you'll ever hear. That, that, that's a word for it, I suppose. <laughs> <coughs> a, a, a rare and interesting take on it. <laughs> so I like the balloon the balloon float caravan design they have here. Yep. I think this is the type of caravan we arrived on at the beginning of the game ourselves. In their in initial cutscene. After we finished talking to Big Crystal Mommy. <laughs> well, if your uh, thing is I think Oldaha or Gridania. Is it, is it different for Limza? Yeah, Limza, you arrive on a ship. Oh, You're yeah. That's what we did. That makes sense. Everything's total will grow and prosper by our hands. That's the spirit. Ah! Ah! Dramatic camera shake. Oh no, we've been ambushed Please. by excited children. Please do not beat up your elders. <laughs> I 
course, I had to use the answer that would confuse the child the most. <laughs> yep. But don't roses grow everywhere? Train every day. Kid <laughs> <laughs> asks what Remus like. Yeah, it's where a bunch of adventurers hang out, go through whatever. Oh, so that means there's a bunch of people as strong as you. Oh, sweetheart, no, no one's as strong as me. Gets me like smacked. Get on my <laughs> level, scrubs. <laughs> 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 nobody's as nobody's uh, as strong as me. I'm the player character. Listen, I'm I, I'm personal friends with Mummy Crystal. Okay. Eh. All this talk of Yagiri makes me want want sushi. <laughs> Fair. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get to I meet the, the, the sushi ninja. Of a low altitude lighter than aircraft drawn by a mammal would actually be like or in this case not a mammal but you know what i mean yeah a burp what what would the logistics in general. of this be i mean you only have the airbags only have to float it just slightly off the ground so that it's easier <clears> for them to pull around they'd probably be able to get some good speed uh, on those things actually or at least a lot more stamina because they're, they're slowing down anyway. would be a problem Yes. Well, technically, they would be pulling the same amount of weight, just with less resistance. Okay, fair. Would be a lot easier. <clears throat> anyway. Slowing down would be a problem, but yes. It would be. Where did Snowbutt go? I don't know. I'm on my way! Ready? I'm right here! There you are. I'm right here. The fuck? Where, where were you before? I was in cutscene. Oh, you were oh. just in the cutscene longer than us. Okay. Mm. Weird. You're usually first out. <clears throat> I'm rubbing my butt all over your stuff. I think we did that already. To town, whoosh! Leaving Snowcat Whee! behind. <laughs> if it sounds like bacon, it's good. If it smells like bacon, you're on fire. <laughs> I don't want to be bacon. Yeah. Especially not of the long variety. <clears throat> All got almost completely left behind. Shall we play a game? As long as it doesn't Thank involve you. nuking people. Ah, no, uh, but those are my favorite games. That's mm -hmm. why I have that flag. Get them ready to win! Someone's trying to pack me! Run! <laughs> <laughs> no. Peppo Papo. Who, no. who would possibly want to do that? Probably ah. a lolly. Ah. <laughs> Not a lollafell, a lollyfell in this case. Um, oh damn. No. I wonder if there are any <laughs> lollafell players who have named themselves Lolyfell. Uh Adventures Guild. 
Yes. The quicksand. <laughs> the more you know? Lilyfell is, is both a great and horrible joke. Nah. Mostly horrible. Me? <coughs> Dino Nuggies. Dino Nuggies? What the? You're in a guild. Please tell me the guild called Beans is, is all Lollafells. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Dino Nuggies is an amazing name. That That is one of the cutest little marauders I've ever seen. <coughs> And up they go. Kai, did I ever tell you about the uh, all gnome guild I saw in Warcraft once? I believe so, yes. My, li my Little Ponies, spelled with a P. P.W. Yeah. They, they were all female gnome rogues. <laughs> Love it. Rogues were definitely being that game's best uh, PvP class. Because you get to s assassinate everybody. <coughs> yes, that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Back to Revenant's Toll. All right. Yep. When we are ready. Mm hmm. Are you good, okay? Yeah, I, I should be ready to go. Okay. Unlike a certain Dan, I ask the team before I teleport us all. <laughs> <laughs> Tab and cat. I don't know if that's supposed to be a <clears throat> tabby cat joke, but it looks like it is. Quite the hair on him. That was that horn? Yeah. You could probably do something with that mustache, though. <laughs> 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 uh, no! No! No, no, hold on! Tony sent me something! <clears throat> uh oh. What? It is an audio clip from a Twisted Tea commercial. Where there's this, there's this explosion sound in the background. Now I've heard this sound an awful lot because it managed to uh, end up here. <sighs> they used the actual impact of the can going across that guy's head in one of their <laughs> actual. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. So I need to go buy some twisted tea now. Is what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, that is so it's, it's fucking based. Numb. That is These fucking people, based. I love it. This company deserves to be rewarded for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I 
I love that button. <laughs> Every time I press that button, a racist cries for no reason. <laughs> Am I a piece of shit? Maybe. Does it matter? No. N not as much oh, as that guy was. <laughs> I love the fact that, that Twisted T is leaning into that. Oh, yeah. Good for them. God, I love it. <clears throat> that is so good. This is part of an ad they did, you said? Yeah. I need to see this ad later. This person's name is Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> yes, it is. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but my mom made an amazing spaghetti. That's actually really. Alpha and over, and over there is a flying bed. Uh, yep, it is crafted. Is it a, a carpentry thing? Baron uh, and, and banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah, uh <clears throat> his feet are clipping through the bottom of the bed. <laughs> That's because he's on the chair. Oh, he wasn't the one on it. Okay. <laughs> no, it was the bunny girl. That chair is a good mount. I have that one on my main. Partner in tea time. Nice. Oh, and over there, there's a uh, Final Fantasy Tactics fan. Oh. Shin Beolv. Yee. And somebody made a guild called Daddy, because of course they did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I gotta get a better look at that bird. Hold on, I want to see this bird dough. Oh, I don't know what that is. Well, oh, there it goes. Yeah. It, it just whooshed. Kai, oh, no. you, scared, you scared it off. I scared the bird. That one, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it, it, you get from Shinra. Extreme. It has a possibility. Of oh fuck all of that! I hide over here. You hide over there. Maybe Oops. if <laughs> maybe if I hide here, bird come back. <laughs> Poogie. Somebody has a pet called Poogie. Yep. There. Uh, that. It's a, it's a pig can... in a blanket. Yep, you get them from the. They had a cross quest that's still that. It's not an event. It's a quest line that crosses over with Monster Hunter, and you can fight a Rathalos, and you can get a Pinky. You can also get a Rathalos as a mount. And cool it for people who are has into Monster Hunter. It has the same kind of rules as. Monster Hunter, um, oh. uh, potions, and uh, like that. And this person here has a Magitech umbrella. Yep. That's over-designed as fuck, <laughs> but it's pretty. You can, get, you can get that, as well as that choke of, uh, barding earlier from Deep Dungeon. Mm. Need to see this umbrella. It's pretty cool. Oh, fuck yo! Uh, I. Uh, I mean, it's basically a, an umbrella with oh. circuitry on it. Uh, I want this outfit. Which which one? Where'd you go? The su super cute one here. Uh, gonna have to. There's be more three. Specific. I know. I, I that's why I said what I said. You want that's all why of them? Specific, yes. Okay, so the streetwear-looking <clears throat> one that just ran off, that one you get from the Mog Station. 
Uh, the red and black one, the dress thingy you get from the Mog Station. The, uh, the... That man just rode away on a ball. Yep. That turned into a cube. Yep. Uh, the white, well, the, uh, shorts and swim top what? there, uh, <laughs> the bottom, the bottoms there are from the island sanctuary stuff. The, uh, <laughs> top is the from the a past talked bit. about that lady, she flew away on a dandelion seed. <laughs> Which is that perfect. You, that you get from the Moogle Beast Tribe quest. Mm. That makes Actually. sense. That, that makes a lot of sense. And the, uh... Considered. The changing cube ball thing, uh, you get from this, uh, this fight, uh, that people really aren't doing anymore because, uh, because it's really difficult. And people can be quite lazy. So in order to get, even get a chance at doing that, you have to pretty much have people that are willing to run it with you. I yeah, do not have it on my main. Sounds like something it, if you queued for, you'd be waiting for a real ass long time. Uh, queue times are normally longer than 30 minutes. Yeah. Alright. Now let's go inside, shall we? Yeet. Ripley Moustache! <laughs> <laughs> That's a. Oh, Excuse me, God. sir. I am. I mustache you a question. That is a. That is a mustache, or not? That's. <clears throat> Rex. Shasa, mask of Mimi. Yep. That's actually terrifying to keep. <laughs> it should be considering what is named. Unfortunately, now we have to talk to Benfilia. Oh no. The most boring of all the Scions. In the one of them are interestingly dressed, though. S especially if you smuggle a, uh, a Lollafell into that butt window. <laughs> <laughs> Let us all nod silently to each other. Stroller should be returning. Let's look like meet Kitty Cat Girl. The most sophisticated and sassy of all kitties. How goes the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Lewd, Thancred. Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The Serpent Reavers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. 
Has there been any movement in Thanalan? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual, summoning a freet with such crystals as they have hoarded. Uriange too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what, pray tell? For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amalja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Da, da, da. Vilbrand? <laughs> there have been reports of the Hagen activity of late. Mental image of that uh, overly traumatic, was that gopher or something? That meme? Whatever the fuck that thing was. Yeah. Do you ever worry about your online private data being stolen by your cats? <laughs> no, they're going to summon Leviabetus. No. God damn it. Leviathanalan. No, 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 Thanalan. Oh, Black Betty, Thanalan. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. The gift and knowledge of eternity, oh. eh? Now's not the time for moaning, Minfilia. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have used moan as that particular sound effect. Mm -hmm. Maybe groan. Or grunt. Such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. Hello? And there is the explanation. I kind of like the the bizarre kind of Sahagin decorations they do. That was a weird ass headpiece, though. Soon it shall begin. It's, a, it's a claw. Mm -hmm. I don't want to meet the crab he took that from. <clears throat> Nor I. I think we've catched one of them, Yeah. Shaky cam. Yeah. The promise of immortality. The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You... you shared that vision, did you not? Stoic Even nod. before the Sahagin made mention of the <clears throat> emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. But surely it is not within his power to grant the echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady, are you sure this is wise? I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. 
on the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill. Thancred, you dog. I, a primal, is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. I would lend you my blade, sure, but which one? It only got be one most blade. Welcome. When contending with a primal, -uh. one can never have too many able allies. Yeah. If you crave a more intimate understanding, you literally only fight with one dagger. This experience is like to think it does. I'm talking about you, Yuri. Sure to come well oh, yeah, she's actually useful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> think it just got told. <laughs> and he continues to do so throughout the story. Poor guy. All right, let's go talk to the Admiral about a certain Leviabetus. Uh. I'll meet you, meet you all outside so we can teleport together when we're all ready. Okay. Stash is still out here. Mm -hmm. Hello, Kai. Hey, yo. Lost boy. I didn't know this game had vampires. Oh look, gold selling spam. Excuse me while Joy. I report people. I can't do it on the during a loading screen. Port RMT. Yes. Okay. Holy shit, look at this guy's name. Hugged the fuck the fuck Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> uh, maybe? I stuck by love, dumbass. <laughs> what a hell of a name. Alright, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so much lag in Etherite Plaza. Uh, so we run this way. East. No comment? Okay. Wait. On what? Ah, Tiny Milky. <laughs> okay then. Tiny Milky gets head pats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Indeed. Oh look, it's a sprout. 
Wearing pants. the newbie skirt. Excuse me, sir. Please let us in. We need to talk to Steppy, mommy. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Who are you patting? <laughs> Who are you patting? She was chasing me around patting me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to point out, I just got a whisper from Tiny Milky saying, you pat me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> In all caps. <laughs> That's hot, though. <laughs> Drive by pets. <laughs> Drive by pets. Ow. That one hurt. <sighs> Drive by pets, frowny face. <laughs> uh, the life of a lollafell, I suppose. Yeah, Junpei <laughs> also has to deal with people trying to pat him. It's like, do you mind? <laughs> no, I think they're happy to do so, actually. Darn fishbacks. Rude. <laughs> and they're trying to summon their god to destroy everybody. They can they can tolerate a little rudeness. No. <laughs> no. Rude. <laughs> I'll be polite to them when they stop trying to murder everybody. They're good ones. Yeah, but I'm not talking about them. They're sweet boys. We like them. Private adventures. Our scouts are currently reconnoitering. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, that's never going to stop being funny. <laughs> Hashtag not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, some fish are friends. <laughs> I'm being an ads. But you're not you're not wrong. running around too, I don't know why. Let's book. Let's book. Go away. Wait. Thus concludes my my discussions with Tiny Milky. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Yes. Have we all talked to Steppy Mommy? Yes. I will take Kai's silence as a yes as well. <laughs> Slimy Limey says slurp slurp. Yeah, nope. Nope. Don't like that. <laughs> no! Off we go. <laughs> nope. Don't do the slimy slurp. No, I did not. I think it was time to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> that was a really good time to just not. <laughs> yeah. That was enough for me, Captain. That area is is is, is okay to be away from. <laughs> Absolutely. I I, I I I feel like we've done a good thing by vacating. Agreed. Just in the fucking nick of time. Whee! Slimy slurp. <laughs> How about not? Why? <laughs> No, you're all having a good day. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs>
Rumors say otherwise, Blast. <laughs> yep. You ain't right. Not at all. What's it say about you? Either that you're extraordinarily accepting or that you also are not right. <laughs> Probably, Probably that both. you are also not right. I've seen the kind of porn you look at. Oh dear. Spicy. Onlycats.com? <laughs> <laughs> you know Graha's on there. No. She's checked. No? <laughs> Now this this quest feels always a little bit silly to me. Use the restorative potion. Why can't I just cast my healing spell? <laughs> it's not everybody has a healing spell. But I do. <laughs> Doesn't even open the bottle, just chucks the bottle at them, just there you go. Shatter it. I, I just threw it at him and it shattered the <laughs> rock behind him and splattered him. And again, I guess if they can make Overwatch where there's a character who literally heals people by shooting them with a sniper rifle, then why not? Thereby Magic proving a, once again that uh, Overwatch is just Borderlands for people who don't like playing games. <laughs> Not wrong. This person looks like they need help. Yeah, this guy who's attacking you, he's about to need some help. I tried to help. There's someone trying to run a bait over there. Oh, you mean the person is almost dead? Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ah. Somebody's a sage. Maybe very nice uh, in the dress. Nora. Yes. Yeah. I like how she's like just dressed like a housewife. Which is actually That's like the, uh, level five billion. <laughs> Queen trails. That's dead. The fuck is this? A crate. Brilliant. Well, you ask. I can't seem to fucking do anything with it. Why Why is this a question? What are you seeing on your screen that I'm not seeing? There's a crate here that's glowing. It's not glowing on my side. <laughs> it's not even on your screen. Me Did you level adjust for the for the fate? Maybe it's part of that. Are you level synced to the fate right now? I don't know. <laughs> The game's actually Maybe. acting kind of funky right ah. now. It is. The Reaver just ran right into that wall. 
Yeah, I also have no audio. All of my audio is gone. Oh. Uh oh. And you just ran off somewhere. Yeah, trying to my screen. You know, get away from things that want to eat me. Like yeah, I have some idea what pretty the far hell is that. going you on. Well murder them. I'm trying to fix my fucking game. I gotcha. <laughs> My god, you guys. I don't know who that person's talking to, but... Probably us. <laughs> uh, not us. No? I don't know, we're the ones that had everybody aggroed, so... Anyway. Why is Kai taking hits? Oh, she's poisoned. Yeah. You're a poison too. Yeah. It'll go away. Did you get any uh, sound back yet? No. Is the shiny crate still there? Yeah. It's whatever. I'm, want I'm wondering if maybe you just have a quest that we don't have. <coughs> Do you have any quests that do not appear on my screen on the stream right now? I... You get rid of quests, I don't, so yes, all the time. <laughs> That's probably why. It's probably one of those. You hide them and shit. I, I, I just yeah. don't. It's not worth the effort of remembering how to do that. <laughs> so much effort. It is. God, my fingertips fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah? Well, we'll finish up soon. I'm thinking mm -hmm. maybe we will continue a little bit longer to unlock the actual Leviathan fight, but then we'll wait and do it tomorrow. Something along those lines. Mm. Assuming tomorrow works out. Yeah. Yes. Always. There assuming. are things. There are things that might take over tomorrow. I see. I will ask you about said things later when we are not streaming. We have some corpses that look like flowers. <laughs> Here, have these corpses. Give me bracelet. Geb. I don't like these bracelets. Give me the money instead. Uh. These bracelets don't help me heal people any better. <laughs> no, but one of them helped me hurt better, so... <laughs> yep. Oh, those, those bracelets were good for you guys. Just no good for me. Yep. You'll get some in the next quest, though. Yes. That man's axe is hovering a, a good foot away from his back. Yep.
to battle. Thancred looks so baby-faced and innocent in these days. Yeah. Before his life gets fucking real. <laughs> It's just so different from the Thancred I'm used to now. <laughs> What's up, spaghetti? Absolute slaughter. <laughs> Kai's right, M small murder derg. She's a, she is an adorable little pocket tank. <laughs> I still have no audio. Weird. I um, You know what? Why don't we end here instead? due to these technical issues and see if we can't work that out. Because there's a cutscene coming up and I want to make sure you've got audio before that Kay. happens. Let's yeah. fly back to Aleport so we have our instant logout. Whee! That's some weird shit, Kai. I don't know how you managed to do that. <laughs> well, it acted like it was going to... Uh like kick me at first but then decided not to and I just lost audio instead weird yeah that's strange weird glitch <laughs> but maybe next time you log in it'll have cleared up <laughs> let's give that a try so fingers crossed for tomorrow we'll see what happens <laughs>